Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is similar to the last one, just one little twist uh, to it. So part two of module 9.2 in our integrated math class, solving equations by completing the square. Don't forget, all your lessons can be found at mrmathblog.com and then um, uh, you go to the integrated math 2 link. There are several links at the top. And anyway, so here's our question. How do we use completing the square to solve ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 when a is not a perfect square? Okay, so the last one we had it when a was a perfect square. So here we go. Um, uh, this is when uh, we had just x squared uh, minus uh, uh, x squared plus bx plus, uh, equals c. So here we just do half of 12 squared, okay? So half of 12 squared equals 36, because 12 over 2, half of 12 is 6. 6 squared is 36, so we're going to add 36 to both sides. And what that does is makes a perfect square trinomial. Okay, so if you're kind of lost, please look at the part 1 lesson, you guys. Okay, so this becomes x minus 6 squared, and over here we get 62, okay? And then so x minus 6 equals plus or minus the square root of 62, and then add 6 to both sides. And 62 doesn't break down, so it's just 2 times 31. So there's our answer. So uh, 6 plus or minus uh, square root of 62. In the textbook, I'll write x equals 6 plus root 62, and then x equals 6 minus root 62. I, I like that better. Okay, let's try this where uh, this is a perfect square. Okay, so when this is a perfect square, that's when we do... Uh, b squared over 4a, okay, so we're going to go 90 squared uh, is 8100 over 4 times 25 over 100, so 81 is our magic number that we add to both sides, so there we go, okay, so here we get, uh, now if you're kind of lost, please look at part 1, you guys, all right, so this becomes a 5x minus 9 squared over here, and then uh, when we add those together, we get 120, so 5x minus 9, don't forget, it equals plus or minus the square root of 120, and then 120, I've done that over here. Okay, so it equals um, uh, 2 root 30, and then add 9 to both sides, so here we go, and then we're going to divide by 5, and so there's our answer right there, okay? All right, so now uh, when the leading coefficient a is not a perfect square, then we multiply, or sometimes we divide, um, uh, but we'll do multiply here, uh, the equation by a value that makes it a perfect square. So then we can do what we just did. So let's go ahead and solve. So here, uh, 2x squared minus 6x equals 5. So think of um, uh, 2 goes into what? perfect square. Well, if we make this a 4x squared, then it becomes a perfect square. So we'll multiply both sides of this equation by 2. Okay, so when we multiply by 2, we get this, and then we can do uh, b squared over 4a. So 144, 12 squared over 4 times 4. Okay, and uh, that gets us 9. So we add 9 to both sides. Okay, so this gives us a binomial squared, and then over here we get 19, and then just kind of double check, you guys. Make sure that if you multiply those, 6x, and then double that, that it has to be that. It has to be double. It has to be 2 times that. Okay, don't forget your plus or minus when you square root both sides, and then add 3, divide by 2. There's our answer right there. Okay, all right, let's try uh, this one here. Same sort of thing. Okay, so 3 times what gives us a perfect square? Well, 3 times 3 gives us 9x squared. So if we multiply everything by uh, 3, uh, then we get, um, uh, we'll get 9x squared, and then we get uh, plus 6x equals 48. Okay, and then uh, half of, uh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, 6 squared uh, divided by 4 times 9 equals 1. So we'll add 1 to both sides, and it gives us a binomial squared. And then square root, don't forget your plus or minus. So um, 3x plus 1 equals 7, or negative 7. Subtract 1, divide by 3, and there you go. Okay, all right, one more. Okay, here we have a fraction. Okay, so here we're going to multiply both sides by, by 2. If we multiply by 2, uh, then that gets us just plain old x squared. So when it's just x squared, then we do half of 6 squared. Okay, so 3 squared is 9, and then so we're going to add 9 to both sides. And then there we go, with plus or minus, don't forget that, subtract 3, and there's our answer. All right, you guys, if you are in our class, there's your assignment. Take care.